G'day friends! Welcome to a Swatch video. I haven't done one in a hot moment, that's why I put in some cute little clips at the start. <laughs> Don't get excited, all my videos aren't going to change quality now. Uh, I'm just going to be basic like I've always been. Basic and ultra. I uh, Anyway, let's get on to talking about what I'm doing here. I'm drawing a gathering of geisha because this is what I want to swatch on today. I've got the eight new colours of Daniel Smith watercolour. Uh, I bought these from Cat's Corner on Etsy, Artistic Cat. I'm going to leave the link below to where you can get this exact exact set is 53 bucks for eight half pans and then the new uh, the newest uh, paint colors that Daniel Smith's come out with so um, I'm just gonna talk about uh, the math involved in some of this stuff because I don't know if you guys understand wh what goes into making half pans or you know whether it's an investment whether that makes more sense to buy that or should I just go for the tube I'm just gonna tell you a bit about what I know and my personal experience and my opinion uh, so I don't really need to say much about the paints. The long and short of it is they're absolutely incredible, great colors, amazing pigmentation, light fastness through the roof. And um, yeah, there's nothing you can really uh, bash Daniel Smith watercolors for, unfortunately. I, I could not make a slam video about them because they're just great. They always work fantastically and they are some of my most favorite colors. Uh, that I work with, it's I'm, it, there's nothing more I could say about Daniel Smith is my point. They're just great, uh, but they are an investment. So let's talk about the money side of it. If you're on jet pens, you'll see that a tube of Daniel Smith goes for about 12 to 15 bucks, and that's just depending on which one you're going to get. If you're going to buy one with a general, uh, general, a genuine mineral kind of crushed up to be a pigment, so like kyanite genuine or something, um, you're going to pay more for that because it's uh, it's a more expensive pigment, right? So those will set you back around 15, 16 bucks. You know, I'm just going to say generally it's about 12 to 15 dollars for a 15 mil tube of paint. So I worked that out to about to about a dollar three per milliliter of paint, which is an investment. But like I said, you know, they're going to work. You don't really have to do much to these paints to make them look beautiful. They just are beautiful the way they are. So, you know, they're going to level up any kind of art you're doing. Now, if you're going to buy from an Etsy seller, uh, in particular, I'm going to talk about Cat's Corner because uh, she's known and trusted and I definitely, you know, I've been recommended to uh, her site before and I did procrastinate buying, uh, but it wasn't for the reason you would think. I, ac I mean, I didn't accidentally. I already bought a tube of Payne's Grey Blue because I knew I would enjoy it. And uh, when I saw this come out, I saw that there was a half pen of Payne's Grey Blue and I was like, oh, I don't really need a half pen of it if I'm already got a tube of it, so I'll just procrastinate, I won't buy that. And then I thought, what am I talking about? I love all these colors, and uh, who's to say that I don't need another half pen of paints for that gray blue? Like, I'm not gonna go through Daniel Smith watercolors. <laughs> like, give me a keg of moon glow and I'll be happy. Anyway, let's talk about the math. So, uh, with a half pen, it can take about three milliliters, you know, give or take, um, when it's dried down and dehydrated and fully topped up in the half pan. So that works out to be about $2.20 per milliliter. So in a tube, you're looking about $1.03 per milliliter. In a half pan uh, from Cat's Corner, you're looking about $2.20 per milliliter. And these are, you know, really, really rough, you know, because each tube costs a different amount. I wasn't going to break it down like that. But what I'm trying to say is you're going to pay double for the dried out half pans. Now, I love the convenience of a half pan because I love to travel with them. You only need to re-wet them. You know, they're super saturated in there. You don't need a lot. A little goes a long way. Um, so I love the half pans. And uh, Artistic Cat, like, she does a great job of, um, of getting, like, a lot in there. I mean, you can see that is just flat topped to the brim. And, uh, and I didn't even really have any air pockets in mine, which is totally not a problem. I know some people think like, oh, I'm missing paint, but that's just how the paint dries. Once the water content's gone and it's, uh, you know, dehydrated, you can't really control what happens to it. Uh, you know, it's, it's science, right? So, um, you know, it is what it is, but mine were all beautiful when they came. So, um, and you know, all these prices, I should say, uh, the, the numbers I've crunched, they don't include shipping. So just assume that if you're anywhere outside of the States, it's probably gonna be more expensive. But that just goes for anything. I'm an Etsy seller, I totally get it. It just seems like when things leave the States, uh, they cost a ton more to deliver. So uh, it is what it is. I've lived, on, I've lived in Australia my whole entire life and then, you know, went traveling. And uh, now I'm experiencing the perks of not having to pay exorbitant amounts of shipping, but that's just what it is. You know, like we can't control that. So uh, I totally understand it from both sides. And uh, I'm just letting you know that it, it's an investment. Most of these things are a total investment. So what I wanted to tell you about this is if you buy them in the tube, to try this whole set in a tube, you're gonna spend over a hundred bucks. And that's just, 
like if you want to try them. For sure get the dot card as well, I'm not sure if these new colours come on the dot card. But if you're just looking to build a set and you think, well it is cheaper to go for the tube, you're totally right, but if you don't use a lot of watercolors, then what do you need the whole tube for, right? You're just spending more money that you're probably not going to use. Um, and, you know, they, these will last forever, so it's totally fine, you can do that. But I just found it was a much more economical way to purchase these if you just got the half pans. And I'm not a pusher for half pans, I'm not, uh, you know, none of this is sponsored, I'm totally not... Um, affiliated with Cat's Corner or anything. I just, I saw enough of, of recommendations and, you know, she's known and trusted. So I, um, and when I bought them, I just thought, you know, this is great. This is great value. Uh, you can buy another half pan if you, if you, you want them dried out already, because like I said, I actually prefer to work with a half pan of dried watercolor than I do with the tubes. I bought the tubes because I was so obsessed with them, but I'll be honest, I, emptied out a Windsor and Newton half pan and filled that with the watercolor from the tubes. So, um, you know, I, I don't, I don't know how Cat's Corner does it. It was such a long process for me. So I'm, I'm totally in awe of uh, the commitment and dedication to making half pans. But, uh, yeah, I think price wise, the difference is if you want to save money, if your end game is to not spend more than you have to, then of course go for the tube. Like I'd probably buy a dot card, figure out the ones you want and then get the tubes. If you just want to play with gorgeous watercolors, you're looking for convenience, you're looking to try a bunch and save, you don't think you're gonna go through, you know, 15 milliliters of Hansa Yellow, then just get a half pan. And uh, on Cat's Corner, you can build your own palette, you know, she sells tons. Uh, of, of, of the Daniel Smith watercolor collection. I know Courtney's got some palettes over there that she's curated and she's got her own color stories going on. So they're fun too. If you're looking for some other artists, uh, you know, their favorite color palettes, you can totally just buy into that or you can make your own. Um, and like I said, if you've got the dot card, I got one for Christmas and I still haven't swatched it out, so my bad. But um, yeah, get the dot card, have a look at which ones you want, and then maybe commit to uh, a tube if your end game is to save money ultimately. But I think it is totally worth the convenience uh, of the half pans, considering I prefer to use them. Uh, so yeah, that's just my two cents worth. That's all the math that's involved. I'm just letting you know that, uh, you know, for a, a per milliliter, you'll pay $2.20 for a half pan from Cat's Corner or from the tube, you'll pay $1.03. Uh, factor in the shipping because that's going to totally ruin your order anyway, but uh, <laughs> I, uh, I had really reasonable shipping from Cat's Corner, but I also live in the States, so I totally get it. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's just my two cents worth. That's all the math I could do for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I haven't really swatched anything for a long time, and uh, I was just going to talk about the colors, but there was not much to say. I can, I really, really love them. I think lavender and wisteria are my favorite. Obviously, Payne's Blue Gray I already loved. Uh, also, the pen that I use, the Copic Multiliner in Sepia, is a fantastic new pen that I'm loving. It is uh, amazing for drawing and inking outlines of things that you don't want to use a black pen for. If you're looking for a really soft or subtle look, uh, go for the sepia tone in the Copic Multiliner. It's completely bulletproof pigment ink. It's waterproof, you know, not going to move anywhere. And uh, it gives you a softer look than a black does. So go and grab your half pens if you're into it. Uh, go and grab Daniel Smith at all costs anyway. You'll love it. You won't feel sorry about it. You won't be sorry for it. Either way, you'll love it. <laughs> Bye everyone. <laughs>